All right, so we are back for part five, the final video in how to set up our SEO blog post. Uh, so in the first four parts, we've been going through um, how what kind of topic to do an SEO blog post on. So we decided to go with a company review. We went to impros.com, figured out the company that we were going to use. And then we did some keyword research just to make sure that our company actually generates searches each month in Google. And then from there, we've been putting together our blog posts and properly formatting it so that the search engines know what the heck our blog post is about. So this blog post, or this, excuse me, this video, we're just going to kind of wrap everything up um, and just kind of publish it, get it all set, and just kind of take it from there. So this will be the final video. So as I kind of mentioned earlier, different things that you want, you want the keyword and the title, the link. You want it in the first few lines, preferably the first, the very first line of the blog post, but at least in the very first few lines. You want them in some kind of header tags, H1, H2, H3, all three. You can use all three of them, or you can use just one of the H tags, doesn't matter. But you want your keywords in that. Um, you want a picture with, with your keyword in the alt tag. Now, I didn't show you that last time. So when you put a picture in... And you should know how to put a picture in. If you put a, you put a picture in just by hitting add media here, you can find different pictures for uh, for what you're doing for on Google. So if you're doing something like Gamma Life, just go in search engines, type in Gamma Life, click the image tabs. It'll give you a bunch of pictures that come up for Gamma Life. You can just right click, save image as to your computer, and then you'll just come here and click add media, upload it, and bam, you'll have it in your blog post. All right. And then here, what you do to add an alt tag here, you see that icon that popped up and I clicked on. It allows you to edit your image. And you see where it says alternate, alternative text. That's where your alt tag goes. So right here, I have it as Gano Life because I actually have more than one picture. So I actually have Gano Life reviews in one of the other pictures that I put up there. And sometimes what you can do, just like how I did there, is you can target multiple variations of your keywords. So like Gano Life is the name of the company. So Gano Life is a keyword that we can target that gets searches. Gano Life Review is another keyword or key phrase that generates a ton of searches so we can target that. So a lot, sometimes in your blog post you can target more than one keyword. No more than about two to three because it's going to be hard to try to rank for a bunch of other stuff that doesn't relate to kind of what you're already talking about. So we got our alt tag uh, in our picture. Another thing you want to make sure with your SEO blog post is that you write no more than 500 words. All right, that's just that's just kind of the bare minimum you want to do when you're doing a post that you're trying to rank in the search engines. You want the search engines to realize that there is some content there and that there's somewhat value to it because it's not just a paragraph or two. It's actually something that is explaining something or going into detail about something, and so the search engines look at that. So you want to have your word count no minimum than 500 words on whatever you're writing and then another key things that we'll go over here is um you can actually see right here this is actually a tool called seo presser and if you have the empower network blog it comes automatically loaded if you don't have an empower network blog you just have your own wordpress blog you can search for seo presser in google and you'll have to purchase it and you can just download and install it as a plugin but what it can actually help you do if you're not used to a lot of this stuff is it kind of gives you step by step what you need to do to format um, and optimize your blog post all this stuff is stuff I've gone over you have entered enough words so I have enough words like I just mentioned you have your keyword in the first sentence you have your keyword in the last sentence you have an internal link what an internal link means is you have a link to one of your other pages um, that that's something that will help out your SEO a lot of times what I do myself is instead of just doing it to another random page on my blog a lot of times I'll actually take the link of the actual blog post itself and then I'll add it as a link that's what this is right here so you highlight text if you don't know how to add, add a link you just highlight text you click on this chain link icon here and then you just put the hyperlink in there and click add link so that's what an internal link is, uh, a link that's going somewhere to another page on that same domain or that same blog that you have. And then relevance, add relevance equals no follows to your external links. Um, if you don't know what that is, you can search for it in Google. Basically, it just means you come to the text editor and where you might have a link, you see right here. 
I have a link here. I put relevance, R-E-L equals quote, no follow quote. That just tells that the search engines and the search bots that crawl the page that you don't want to send any of the link juice to that page that you're linking to. You want to have a variation of some links that have no follow and some links that don't have no follow to make it look a little bit more natural. Even though this says, please add no follow to your external link, so it wants it to all the links that I have, you want to kind of have a variation. And then here, see alt tag like I mentioned, h1, h2, h3, keyword bold, italicized. And I do have my keyword underlined, but for some reason, um, SEO presser in, in Empower Network blog, for some reason it just doesn't recognize that you have your keyword underlined. But that's a great tool for someone if you're new to SEO that will kind of help you follow along with what you need to do to optimize your post. And obviously, as I mentioned earlier, you want to have some kind of link to your captured pages because the whole point of us doing this post is to drive traffic to whatever it is that we're promoting. So you can see, like I mentioned before, I have the two images that link to capture pages that uh, promote my product or my opportunity. So that's what you want to remember to do. Don't take all the time to write this SEO blog post and then don't... Uh, have any way for people to find out what you're promoting at least on the side of the banner or in the post side of the blog excuse me or in the post somewhere the last thing you want to do once you've published this now obviously like I said I've already published this so I'm not gonna click anything but you would just click publish down here oh real quick before we do that another thing you can do you can add a new category and you can put your keyword in the category down here so it'd be like Gana Life reviews all right, and then you just click add category. And then down further, see here where it gives you the option to add tags. I have Gano Life, Gano Life Review, Gano Life Reviews. So you would just put each one, you put a comma, no space, and start typing the next one. And then click add, it'll add them all at once. Not, ne not necessarily the most important thing to do, but it is something that you can do to also kind of help out a little bit too. Once you've published it, what we want to do now is we want to ping the link of our blog so that the search engines know that this content was produced because what's going to happen if we don't ping it now with the empower network blog you're not going to have too much uh, too many issues with this because it's such a high authority blog and domain that most likely the search engines are already crawling it so they'll already find it but if you have like your own hosted blog that doesn't get a lot of traffic what you'll want to do is you'll want to come to something like pingler.com alright and pingler.com is a free tool you'll put your keyword in here so piano life reviews all right you'll put the link here you'll just click on three categories that you think your blog post is about or whatever it doesn't matter it can be any three I usually pick like um, internet and online and then there's like a home business and marketing something like that just pick three of them put the capture code in and click ping and it'll automatically start pinging and what pinging does like I mentioned is it lets the search engines know that you just put new content out of that link so the search engines know to send their bots out and call it and start figuring out what your page is about and start being able to rank it in the days to come so that's basically it those are the basics of putting an SEO blog post together I tried to keep each one of these videos short. This last video kind of ran a little bit longer, but since it's the last video, I figured I'd squeeze it all in together. Um, if you feel like you're kind of still at a loss about what to do um, and you need a little bit more hand-holding, I advise that you go ahead and click on the link below and join my team, join our community. We offer a lot of training, and I actually go more in-depth on how to do uh, search engine optimization and how to format your blog post with my team and I actually show you the proper tools and strategies to use to make sure that your uh, pages are ranking in the search engines. So go ahead and click on the link below, join my team, join our community, get involved with us. Also make sure you click on the, there's going to be another link that's linked to my Facebook profile that you can click on, add me on Facebook, send me a message, connect with me so we can get you going with your search engine optimization, get you started, get you rolling together. Alright, so this is Tyler Lamb. This is the end of the SEO blog post video series. I hope this gave you some kind of value, helped you out a little bit. I'll see y'all in whatever next video I create. Take care.